Hello everyone, I'm Adrian. Um, I'm a second year medical student at COHK. When, when I was young and knew nothing about the world, I always wanted to be a doctor. When I went into secondary school and it discovered the wide world of science, uh, namely it not being limited to medicine, I started exploring uh, other routes. So I actually um, applied to um, to natural sciences at Cambridge and simultaneously also applied to medicine at COHK. And I had a very difficult decision to make. Before I met Professor Lowe, I did not realize that doctors could also be, uh, could, could also be scientists in that sense. But meeting him made me realize that actually um, you could do both and become a clinician scientist at the same time. I did my undergraduate at Cambridge, which was a more uh, scientifically oriented path. So I think there's a very big difference between um, studying medicine and studying pure science. Whereas for pure science, um, you might be more focused on the knowledge of the experimental evidence and using those to find knowledge that does, has not already been established yet, in stark contrast to um, what you would do in medicine, which is to build on already established evidence to bring about improvements to patient care. And I think a knowledge of um, clinical skills and a knowledge of the clinical setting, uh, which only medicine can give you, is very important in the translation of um, new science and new technology um, to the actual clinical setting where it can benefit patients. I spent the last eight years uh, in the UK, so I did my secondary school there and I did my university there where I got my first degree. Uh, so coming back after eight years um, was not a decision I made lightly. But I've always thought of Hong Kong as home, and my parents are here and my family is here. The other factor is, of course, uh, Professor Dennis Lowe, who I'm very happy to be mentored by him uh, here at COHK. And he represents um, a very strong tradition in COHK for the translation of basic science research into, um, into things that can benefit um, patients uh, in a clinical setting. I think the biggest thing is actually I wear two hats. So I am uh, simultaneously a medical student and also a member of the lab. And we all know that studying medicine is not that easy. So my lab work really only starts when my, uh, when my day at university ends. So there have been many times where I have worked until very late in the lab. But also it is very rewarding working under such a strong team particularly a very diverse group of people from uh, clinicians to scientists to bioinformaticians from not only Hong Kong but also the mainland. And I very enjoy working together with uh, such a diverse group of people. So I'm still very um, early in my medical career, in my scientific career, and so I am interested by anything and everything. But I do believe that um, the great scientific discoveries come from the interface of, um, of different fields, uh, however unrelated they might seem at first. For example, our lab did um, very important work in the early diagnosis of nasopharyngeal cancer, and that would have not been possible without close collaboration with nasopharyngeal surgeons uh, and our Department of Chemical Pathology. Yeah, so I think that being interested in many things at once is uh, very important for the scientists.